Hi, Emily Raquette here. So you want to get publicity for your business, but you're not sure where to begin? Well, it all boils down to your pitch. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes of live news coverage, and I'm sharing my top do's and don'ts of pitching the media. When it comes to your method of pitching, the majority of producers, reporters, and editors all agree, hands down, they want to be pitched by email. Now, you're not sure how to find their email? Most media outlets have a formula to their emails, and it includes some variation of the journalist's name and the outlet's website. So today, we're here with Annie Swartowski at Fox 17, and her email is aswartowski at fox17online.com. So find out that formula, and you are golden to finding a journalist's email address. Now, of course, you could always do a paid media database or hunt them down on Twitter where they usually have an email in their profile. All right, now that you have your email pitch drafted, great. Now, do yourself a favor and delete about half of it. Keeping your pitch concise is important because producers, editors, and journalists get hundreds of pitches a day. You definitely want to lead with the best information first and don't go on and on about things they might not care about. So the idea actually started back when I was in grad school and I got a cat. Well, it was actually my roommate's cat, but then I ended up keeping it and my roommate was going to own the business with me, but didn't it? Not only do you want to keep your pitch concise, you also want to make sure it's newsworthy. The simple fact that you have a business isn't usually in and of itself enough to grab a journalist's attention. So what you want to have is a hook. Think about the different seasons and the holidays that are coming up. Ask yourself, why would this reporter's audience care about my story? And here's a little tip here. Think about those holidays that aren't exactly real holidays. They're more invented, like National Chocolate Day or National Hug Your Best Friend Day or even National Historic Bridge Day. So National Historic Bridge Day is coming up, and here we have not just any bridge, but a blue bridge, and it's really iconic, and thousands of people will be walking across it for a cause. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Another tip to make your story newsworthy, use numbers and statistics. Maybe you're a personal trainer and you help someone lose 100 pounds in a year, or your business just donated more than $10,000 to charity, or you acquired more than $2 million in funding. Whatever those key numbers are about your business, they can usually help position you to be more newsworthy. If you like what you just saw and you want to learn more about how to get publicity for your business, then join me for a free one hour live training called Get Press and Gain Profit, where I teach you everything I've learned as a former TV news reporter and now publicist to get your business in the spotlight. Sign up in the link below.